Josh Duggar is charged with one count of possession of child pornography, and if convicted, he could face up to 20 years in prison and a 200. There was an evidentiary hearing to determine what evidence would be given at trial. The prosecution wanted to see if they could use the prior allegations of Josh molesting his sisters. Nobody obviously wants to testify, but I was prepared to testify against my brother. I guess they got what they needed from somebody else and didn't have to have me testify. Today, the jury heard from former Duggar family friends. I had took the stand, and I really felt like it was important to acknowledge to everyone in the room and everyone that might hear this that God knows that I'm going to tell the truth. And I have to stand before him one day for what I say or what I don't say or what I do and what I don't do. And so I did. I said, I do, so help me, God. The jury got to see that there is a pattern in Josh's life that he began early on. And he got by with it time and time again. Bobby Holt was exposing everybody because she was saying everybody knew this was an open secret. Josh had molested several of his sisters, and they swept it under the rug. That was a huge relief when I was done. It was almost like we had waited all of these years yeah. just to be able to say that. And we were taken seriously. Yes. At one point, Jim Bob told you you were jealous. He said, Jim Bob, I would not trade places with you for a bazillion dollars. Morning, Jim Bob. How you doing today, sir? Jim Bob, who you see entering court here, testified too about what his son told him. At one point, the prosecuting attorney came up to him and she says, here's the police report. Do you recognize the things that you said in there? And he goes, well, I don't recall really. The fact that he can say that he doesn't remember his own daughter's abuse makes me sick. He kept answering all the questions like, I don't recall, I don't remember, that was so long ago. He just flat out lied. The judge got mad at him and told him he couldn't come back because he had a bad memory. From that moment, yeah, he's done. The hardest parts for me were the parts of like the old stuff being brought up that should have never been out there. I just hope and pray that this never happens to anyone else ever again. The case is in the jury's hands, and then we'll have to find out tomorrow exactly what's going to happen with Joshua Duggar.